Howdy, this is Rosie Arsley, a technical writer for cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. Today, I will show you the file and directory restoration interface for cPanel and WHM version 76. You can use this interface in cPanel or in WHM to restore files and directories from local backups. Restoring a single file or a directory is faster and easier than restoring a big backup file. We introduced the file and directory restoration interface in cPanel and WHM version 72. For version 76, we updated the interface's appearance. This video will focus on the file and directory restoration interface in cPanel. If you'd like to see how file and directory restoration works in the WHM interface, check out our version 76 tutorial. I've added a card and a link to the video in the description. This interface works with metadata from backup saved to the local disk. To use the interface, the system must generate metadata when it runs a backup. For your system to run a backup, your system administrator must enable that functionality in WHM. If you want to learn more about how backups metadata works, read cPanel's How to Manage Metadata Settings document. I included the link in the description below. Now, I'm going to log in to cPanel to show you its file and directory restoration interface. Log in to cPanel. Find the file and directory restoration interface. You can search for it in the search bar or find it under the file section. Then click file and directory restoration to access the interface. This interface contains two sections. The files and directories section shows the files and directories that contain backups. To list the backups, click show backups. The backups will appear in the backups section. From this interface, you can access this account's backups in two ways. I will show you both. You can enter a direct path to the file or directory, or you can browse through files and directories until you find the file that you wish to restore from a backup. Let's start with retrieving backups through a direct path. Enter a path is the default setting, so you'll see a text box where you can enter a direct path. Your home directory already appears in the interface. Enter the path under this directory to find your backups. Since I want to retrieve the backups for the document root, I'll enter public underscore HTML in the text box. Click show backups to show me the backups. The backups now appear under the backup section. This section tells me the directory's name. In this case, it's public underscore HTML. The interface shows whether the directory exists on the local disk. This information is important. If the answer is yes, this lets me know that I'm going to overwrite the directory when I restore the backup. If the answer is no, then the directory does not exist on the local disk. I know that I'm going to completely restore the directory to the disk. That's information I need to know in case I lost all my directory's contents. I can make the contents reappear. I know that this directory exists on the local disk, but I am going to restore the public underscore HTML directory from one of these backups. I am going to select the most recent backup from this list. So I will click Restore, then click the blue Restore button in the panel that appears to confirm. There's my confirmation message, so I know that the system was able to restore the backup. Now, let's do this again, but let's browse to find the directory this time. Select Browse Files and Directories. This action will show you the content of your home directory that the system has backed up. To restore the entire public underscore HTML directory, I would find its name on the list and click Show Backups. 
This action would show all the backups for this directory. I would repeat the same actions that I showed you before to restore it. However, this time I want to restore one file inside the public underscore HTML directory. The file that I want to restore is called test underscore backups dot txt. To find this file, I will return to the home directory. To do so, I will click home above the list. The interface will direct me back to display the contents of the home directory. I'm going to find the public underscore HTML directory on the list and click on its name. This action shows me the contents of that directory. I will look at the directory's contents. And there, I see the file that I want, the test underscore backups.txt file. I will click show backups to list the file's backups. The backups will appear under the backup section. I am going to select the most recent backup from this list. Notice that this file is not on the local disk. When I click Restore, the confirmation will ask me whether I want to add the file to the local disk. I want to restore that file to the local disk, so I will click the blue Restore button. The confirmation message tells me that the restoration was successful. And you're done! You have successfully restored a file or directory from a backup. For more information about cPanel, visit cPanel.com or follow us on Twitter at cPanel. Thanks for watching! Show me the backups!